All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is the Fantasy Sports Boss with another video for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that notification button. Closing in on 700 subscribers since I started this channel, uh, I would say about seven weeks ago. So I, again, appreciate all your support. Been covering everything, the trade deadline coming up. Uh, I'm probably going to jump on and do another live stream tonight, so make sure you look for that under the notifications. Today, I wanted to talk about Justin Fields. So the Chicago Bears coming off a very impressive victory over the New England Patriots last night, um, where Fields played very well. Scored, you know, uh, over 20 fantasy points again for the second week in a row. And he's been 19 or more each of the last three weeks. One touchdown pass in each of those three games. 80-plus rushing yards in the last two. So Justin Fields is really starting to find his groove. And, you know, I wanted to revisit back in the summer. I did post a video about how intrigued I was about Justin Fields and how I thought he was the better investment than Trey Lance just because based on ADP alone. Trey Lance and Fields, to me, had very similar skill sets as run-favoring uh, quarterbacks who also have very strong arms, but uh, certainly came in with accuracy, um, question marks, and also the ability to read defenses a little bit, uh, um, you know, green in terms of being able to diagnose defenses and, and, and getting the offense into the right uh, setup, the right play, uh, the right look. So, um, and so, but the one issue, though, with Field more than Lance, of course, is the lack of supporting cast of Chicago Bears having one of the worst offensive lines in football and having a real uh, lack of skill position players outside of Darnell Mooney and maybe tight end Cole Komet um, in terms of targets. But all that being said, we know Trey Lance, Trey Lance only lasted a couple of games. He's out for the season. But Justin Fields uh, is really starting to take off. He's been a QB 12, uh, top 12 QB in fantasy each of the last three weeks. Like I said, uh, his legs are a very big part of his game. And we've seen with Jalen Hurts, we've seen with Josh Allen, we've seen with Lamar Jackson, how impressive uh, a fantasy quarterback can be when they combine the running and the throwing aspect of things. Now, of course, Fields is never going to totally light things up uh, throwing the ball. Same thing as Lamar Jackson. I mean, Lamar Jackson is not known for throwing the football, but he supplements his throwing with with in, incredible work on the ground in the running game. And Fields uh, is is right there as one of the top five uh, running quarterbacks in the NFL. So what I would say is definitely pick up Fields. If, in, if you're in a super flex league, he's probably already taken. But if you're in a single quarterback league, I think you should pick up Justin Fields. Have him on the bench. He, got, he has very good upside the rest of the way because he's starting to find his comfort zone in Chicago. So, uh, you know, and he's great insurance if something happens to your starting quarterback. All right, hit that subscribe. Hit the notification button. Um, not sure exactly what time the live stream will be tonight or even if I'm going to do it. You know, Tuesdays I don't typically do a live stream. But if I am, look for the notification and I'll see you guys then. Take care, everyone.